Arian here from seeyousoon.ca and in this video series I'm partnering up with Ontario Southwest Tourism to show you some of the best small town getaways this region has to offer. This week I'm taking you to Chatham, Ontario. Located about halfway between Windsor and London, Ontario, Chatham is a riverfront community in the Chatham-Kent region. Known for its rich history, classic cars and fertile land, the region was also an important destination point along the Underground Railroad. Today, Chatham has become a cultural hub of arts and entertainment and is experiencing a renaissance thanks in part to unique and trendy businesses opening across town. To get your weekend started in Chatham, visit the Thames Art Gallery. Located inside the Chatham Cultural Centre, the Thames Art Gallery showcases contemporary Canadian art from local, regional and national visual artists. Exhibitions change about every six weeks and range in artistic forms such as textiles, clay and electronic media. The Thames Art Gallery prides itself on its involvement and contributions to the local community and entrance is free. For lunch, head to Sam's Percolator. Started about five years ago as a food truck, Sam's Percolator serves up house-made soups, sandwiches and wraps alongside delicious espresso-based drinks. On Saturdays, they offer an all-day brunch menu, plus an array of freshly made baked goodies, including their famous Dave's Big Cookies. Cozy up with a warm drink and admire the local art hanging throughout the space. Next, make your way along King Street West and pop into Art Space. Formed in 2008 as a joint venture between the Thames Art Gallery and a group of local artists, Art Space is a not-for-profit gallery that showcases contemporary visual art from artists found in the Chatham-Kent region. Eight to ten exhibitions are shown every year and sometimes you'll even have the artists in-house to talk about their work. For accommodations, stay at the Retro Suites Hotel. So originally this hotel was the Merrill Hotel. Uh, obviously things have changed a lot since then. We have nine long-term apartments, full banquet space, a full event center. We also have a full service restaurant behind me here as well. We have everything from a sports theme room. So we have game time, we have Paris, Presidential, King William, which is a little more Victorian. We have urban studio and everything in between. All of our rooms include your parking, your Wi-Fi, uh, long distance calling anywhere in North America. We include bottled water and passes to Good Life Fitness, uh, yoga, as well as Willow Ridge for 18 holes of golf. Um, so our owner is Rob Myers, he's a local guy. Um, so we feature a lot of his collections, his private collections from all over the world. Uh, his wife is a well-known artist. We do try to feature a lot of the local artists as well. Um, and as you walk around, there's something for everyone. We always like to say your experience starts now as soon as you walk in the door. Before heading off to dinner, meet up with Sheila and Jim of Ghost Walks of Chatham, Kent for a ghost walk or cemetery stroll. Organized by the Kent Historical Society, these one and a half to two hour walks will guide you to various sites in town, sharing eerie stories and epic tales from years past. On the cemetery strolls, you'll make your way through the oldest parts of Maple Leaf Cemetery and get the opportunity to learn about some of Chatham Kent's past residents through dramatic portrayals. The ghost walks and cemetery strolls are a fun and unique way to learn about the rich local history from very knowledgeable local historians. For dinner, make your way back to the Retro Suites Hotel and grab a table at the Chilled Cork. Taking decor inspiration from the eclectic nature of the hotel, the Chilled Cork serves up culinary favorites with a modern twist and a diner-inspired setting. Their rotating seasonal menus highlight locally sourced ingredients and they proudly make all their dishes in-house from scratch, including their incredible desserts. The service is exceptional and the food will leave you wanting more. Well, good morning, it's day two here in Chatham and today we're gonna to explore a bit of the rural area surrounding Chatham, starting with a drive along one of the barn quilt trails. As you drive along the rural roads in Chatham-Kent, you'll start to notice these brightly colored square frames mounted on barns, farm buildings, or posts. These are barn quilts, eight foot square painted wooden replicas of fabric quilt blocks. They honor quilters and textile artists while telling the stories of communities, people, and events. 
there are three barn quilt trails that pass through the Chatham-Kent region. The East Chatham-Kent, the Longwoods, and the Thames River Barn Quilt Trails. The Thames River Barn Quilt Trail is a great option and is comprised of 30 barn quilts located on both sides of the Thames River, stretching out on either side of Chatham. These barn quilts pay tribute to the people who have called the Thames River home during the period between 1750 to 1850. Pick up a copy of the Thames River Barn Quilt Trail book in Chatham to help guide you or take to the roads on your own and make it a scavenger hunt. Next, make your way to TJ Staples. I started the Staples 34 years ago and we've used this property as a healing place and people come here whether they think they need healing or not, they come to uh, decompress and you just get here and you take a deep breath. We have friendly, courteous staff and very patient, trustworthy horses. So even if someone has never ridden before, they certainly can uh, saddle up and go for a nice trail ride. We have lots of children's activities here. For children, we do a lot of school trips. And recently we've acquired a herd of the rare and endangered Ojibwe spirit horses. And they have caused a big buzz uh, in the area we have a dog facility here as well, where you can board your dog if you're going away. If you're not coming to TJ Stables, your dog can, and you can go off on vacation as well. We have a therapeutic riding program here as well. So they, it's called Exceptional Riders because the horses accept the individuals regardless of how they look, what they say, what they do. So. When you walk away from TJ Stables and you've had your experience here, we'd like you to have the feeling of connection. You've connected with nature, you've connected with the animals, and we want you to feel accepted, and we want you to feel as though you've taken a deep breath and relaxed. Lastly, head back into town and enjoy a pint, Sons of Kent Brewing Company. Opened in 2017, this craft brewery is owned by four former Chatham-Kent locals who all worked in the beer industry across Canada and came back to town to start their own brewery. They've converted a former movie theatre into the brewery, tasting room and event space and offer a wide assortment of beers from lagers to ales, IPAs and sours. All their beers are produced and packaged on site and their tap room is the perfect spot to wrap up your weekend in Chatham with a pint or a flight alongside some freshly made dishes from the kitchen. Well, that wraps up my time here in Chatham. I hope this video has inspired you to want to come and make a visit for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon.